Daily Stoic. We're back again. This is what we're here for. Why then are you offended? Why do we complain? This is what we're here for. No one said life was easy. No one said it would be fair. Don't forget, though, that you come from a long, unbroken line of ancestors who survived unimaginable adversity, difficulty, and struggle. In their genes, in their blood, that run through your body right now. Without them, you wouldn't be here. You're an heir to an impressive tradition. And as their valuable offspring, you're capable of what they are capable of. You're meant for this, bred for it. Just something to keep in mind if things get tough. I hear many times that the doom and gloom story, that the world is rough. But remember this, when things get tough, the past was not peaceful in any shape, form, or fashion. It would be wrong to believe that the past was peaceful. One reason why some people might have this impression is that many of the past conflicts feature less prominently or memories. They are simply forgotten. Look at the sheep. Look how many wars we had in the past, the percentage of years in which the great powers fought one another, 1500s all the way to 2015. And as you can see, it's been a massive decrease of the wars. So relatively in the 2000s, it's been extremely peaceful. The ancestors and the people that came before you had it massively tough and difficult. They did not live that long. As you can see in this chart, life expectancy from 1770, the average person lived to be 30 if they're lucky. In the 1900s, only 40, 47 if they're lucky. In the 1950s, 60, 64 if they're lucky. And now in the 2000s, people are living to be 80 if they're lucky. Let's check out another stat, just in case you think that's whack. Let's go to literacy. In the 1820s, only 12% of people were literate. In the 1900s, at the beginning, 21%. In the 1950s, that we herald to be all amazing, 35% of the planet was literate. And now, as we sit in the 2000s, 80%. And now, 2020, 86. So 13% is only illiterate versus before in the 1800s, the early beginning 1800s, nearly 90% of people were illiterate. Remember that you come from ancestors that were still able to survive and thrive, though things were massively difficult and complex. Not to be able to read or write. What kind of opportunity do you have? Not to be able to live past 30. What kind of opportunity do you have? To not be involved in the war of some of the great powers. What kind of opportunity do you have? Talk about tough. But we would like to think that today it's a different type of tough. Just remember what your ancestors have been through and what they survived. Just in case you forget. Just in, just in case you forget that you're meant for this and you're bred for it. Just something to keep in mind when things get tough. Shout out to the Daily Stoic once again. And as I always say, we all we got. Just remember that.